want to make an instructional video with narration but you don't have any idea how. This video is definitely for you. Hi there, it's me, Teacher Jelly. Ang inyong teacherelang lingkod! Happy 4,000 subscribers! Wow, grab it! Our community is growing really fast and I'm so blessed to have this platform where I can share information to people across the globe. Thank you so much for always watching my videos. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button below. Thank you so much Marjo Cosmetics for including me on your lip and cheek tint friendship collection. A few weeks back, the owner asked me if they can include me for their tint collection which just launched recently and one of which is the shade jelly which I am wearing right now on my cheeks and on my lips it retails for a hundred pesos only they also have other makeup products like eyebrow pomade and clay blush I have one shade of pomade over here which I used on my brows right now it's in the shade Athena. So if you are interested to purchase any of their products, feel free to visit their page. It's Marjo Cosmetics and you can find the link in my description box. Today's content is another EdTech tutorial. And if you have been with me for a while now, you might have watched several other EdTech videos. If you haven't, I made a playlist for you. Just click the playlist in my description box. The title of the playlist is EdTech Easy Tutorials. So, i-click mo lang yung playlist na yan. Nandiyan na lahat ng videos about EdTech. For the next few minutes, I'm gonna talk about making your own instructional video with narration using, once again, the ever-powerful PowerPoint. First, of course, you need to have a PowerPoint presentation software on your computer or on your laptop. What I'm using is the PowerPoint version 2013. As far as I know, the PowerPoint version depends on the Windows version of your computer. But you can upgrade your Microsoft Office version. And I'm not sure about the features that are unavailable to older versions of PowerPoint. But yeah, this is what I'm using, PowerPoint version 2013. So we're going to start by viewing the final output that I made. So again, you know me, I made some slides for this video, which I will gladly share with you. Yes, I'm sharing an editable template of this file. Watch till the end to know how. Good day and welcome students. I am your English teacher and homeroom advisor. Here are a few reminders before we start with our online class. Reminder number one. Check your equipment before entering the class. Make sure that your headset, earphones, and camera are working well. Troubleshoot your technical problems ahead of time. Always enter the room on time. We have limited time for our daily online classes. Be punctual so we can maximize it. Attend to personal needs before entering the class. It is best to drink, eat, or go to the restroom before classes to avoid any class interruption. Mute your microphone during discussion. We don't have soundproof studio at home, so we have to make sure that the speaker's audio is very clear with no noise interference coming from students. Reminder number 5. Raise your hand if you would like to ask or answer. If you would like to give a response or a clarification, please wait to be acknowledged before you speak. Finally, avoid getting sidetracked. Talk about matters that are only related to the topic of the discussion 
or to the subject as a whole. Please be reminded that not everyone at home has a conducive environment for learning, so please be considerate and respectful. Now, I would like to give you your class requirements. You'll need one 8 size whiteboard, one regular notebook, and one clear book. May we have an insightful online discussions ahead. There you go. Now I want to show you how I did it. So this is the file that I made for this video. This PowerPoint is about online classes, rules, and reminders. I'm very sure that you'll be able to use this instructional video for your online classes. What I'm thinking is you can play this one before the start of your classes so that students will be oriented with the rules that you want them to follow. So on the first slide, I have here welcome students and I have my name over here. Of course, once you receive this file, what you can do is edit your name or edit the greetings and edit your job position as well so what i'm gonna do first is record my audio actually within powerpoint we have a recording tool so where can we find that click insert over here on the right corner we have the last icon the audio icon and when you click drop down you have here three options online audio audio on my computer and record audio i think this is one of my favorite features of powerpoint because i don't have to download or install another voice recording or audio recording app so let's click this record audio i have prepared my script if you have watched my teacher training series about making a lesson video i mentioned there that it's very important to make a script so from the very first video in this channel up until this video i'm still making scripts for every shoot for every video that i'm making because it helps me save time and it helped me plan and prioritize the things that i'm gonna say so let's begin let's just press this red dot so once you click this you need to start recording good day and welcome students i am your english teacher and homeroom advisor i am using the boya microphone that i bought on shopee good day and welcome students i am your english teacher and homeroom advisor okay there you see it's breaking by the way if ever you need to trim or cut a certain part of your audio simply click this audio icon play back and then trim audio like if there is a dead air in the beginning or at the end of the audio you can simply cut it out so once you click that, this is what will appear. This box will appear. So let's say I want to cut the dead air at the beginning of my audio. I'm just going to move this bar over there. And I'm going to move the red bar as well. Click OK. OK, there you go. As you have noticed, we don't have a screen recording icon in our tab because our powerpoint version is 2013 but if you are using powerpoint 2016 you can simply click the screen recording icon it's actually next to the audio icon here dito sa dulo click nyo yon, and then start speaking start recording your slides that will be more simple and easier okay but since we are only using 2013 I'm teaching you another way on how you can make an instructional video with narration. So the next step is to record the audio for the next slide. So let's do it. Record audio, red dot. Here are a few reminders before we start with our online class. Reminder number one, check your Now let's say you are done recording all of your script. 
After recording your line, make sure to set your audio to play automatically. So what are you gonna do is to click the audio icon. Over here on top, you will see the audio tools. Click play back. Again, what are you gonna do? Click audio icon. Click play back. And then choose start automatically. And that's it. You just have to set all of your audios automatically. The next and final step is to set transitions for all your slides. So let's go to the second slide. Click transition, transition tab, and choose the transition that you want. It's up to you po ano po yung gusto nyong gamitin. But for me, for this slide, I want to use pan. For the next slide, I want to use Ferris wheel. It's up to you po. So, I'm done setting my transitions up until the last slide. Now, you are ready to play the entire PowerPoint presentation. Let's have a quick review of all the steps that we discussed. Step number one, record all your lines. Step number two, set your recordings to play automatically. And number three, add transitions to all your slides. The last step is to save your file into a video. To do that, click File, Save As, Choose where you want your file to be saved. And then, save as type. Please choose Windows Media Video. Again, save as type Windows Media Video. Click save and there you have your very own instructional video using PowerPoint. Thank you so much for staying with me up until this part of the video. If you want to have and if you want to receive an editable copy of that template, you just have to follow three simple steps. Number one, share this video. Number two, tag your friends on our Facebook post. And number three, message us on our Facebook page. The link of the post is in the description box below. Please comment below your topic suggestions for my next video. Just so you know, I'm reading all your comments and I'm trying my best to reply to all of them. Thank you so much. Hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment, and share. I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye!